Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. chest with the occult symbol representing air. Testament. And the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. Hey, a new note. It's been folded carefully in the corner of this page. The writing, it, it, it's not my mother's. S, I found the book in your effects. I've concealed it where no one can get their hands on it. I can assure you, awaiting your instructions, I will hear your reply like he who hears the angel. Hears the angel? What does that mean? Oh, it's probably the place where she was expecting to get the location of the next note. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt, not the oil and the wine. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatea, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Or what man is there of you, whom, if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, and neither tempteth he any man. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith, and hath not works? Can faith save him? Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unsoiled by the world. Hereby know that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. 
If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. For I through the law am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. This only would I learn of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb, and called me by his grace, for ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Now, therefore, there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law with one another. Why do ye not rather suffer injustice? Why do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Ah, oh, look, here's a message. It is of paramount importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize the rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. Prussian? Volner? I must have a word with him. It is of paramount importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize the rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. Prussian? Volner? I must have a word with him. For the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. For you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. If we have hope in Christ in this life only, we are, of all men, most miserable. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Oh, wait, a note from Mother is carefully folded between the pages here. What does it say? Dear E, 
I'm glad you found this note. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where, and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative, awaiting your reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle? What does Mother mean by that? For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ, in them that are saved, and in them that perish. Now I pray to God that ye do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, for we are as reprobates. How shall not the ministration of the Spirit not be more glorious? How shall not the ministration of the Spirit not be more glorious? Because we look not at the things that are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole, and the woman was made whole from that hour. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole, and the woman was made whole from that hour. Take heed that ye practice your justice before men, to be seen differently by them, otherwise ye shall have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. Now there is a Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew, Gogotha. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. I and my Father are one, Then came together unto him the Pharisees, and certain of the scribes, which came from Jerusalem. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread, and blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread, and blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee, 
and was baptized by John in Jordan. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jerus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And so many came and couldn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. Not in the lustful desire, even as the Gentiles who knew not God. Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus unto the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God the Father, and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. For what thanks can we render to God again for you, for all the joy we found in you before our God? In him God has chosen us before the foundation of the world, that we may be holy and blameless before him. Honor thy father and thy mother, as this is the first commandment. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Do all things without murmurings and disputes. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my bonds, and in defense and confirmation of the gospel, ye all are partakers of my grace. Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who think only of earthly things, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Honor thy father and thy mother, as this is the first commandment. Thou hast put all things under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Here's a message. There are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, Let's see tomorrow evening in the south room.
where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the acts counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. from the first edition by Glutenberg. It's the first book that was ever printed. The pages are covered in annotations in Latin, French, and Hebrew. Someone spent years studying this Bible. This book is incredibly precious. I believe this is the book my mother referred to when calling upon the Lord. A volume of the Glutenberg Bible. by Guido Rini. The painting looks like it's been taken down recently. But wasn't my mother said that she would wait for an answer hidden behind the apostle? Ah, of course. There's something written behind the painting. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? St. John is the only apostle painted in this gallery who hasn't got a beard. Hey, wait! That means it's him. He's the youngest apostle. Right! This painting is therefore associated with the answer which E had to give to my mother. Now, I just need to know how to recover the answer. The second day, the pilgrims listened to the prophecy of the young apostle. The prophecy of the young apostle, that was John. And the prophecy mentioned is most likely the book of Revelations according to St. John. this painting. It says half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. What the hell does that mean? A drawing of the Apostle Matthew, painted by Guido Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. by Guido Rini. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust, as if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? There's nothing worth noticing here. It's too cumbersome for me to unhook here, but judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months, if not years. There are finger marks, deliberately drawn in the dust, eight in all. No. Nothing of value here. Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. It's a sentence in Hebrew. It says, count in the dust. 
All right, let's do it. Painting of St. Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Reni. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. St. John is the only apostle painted in this gallery who hasn't got a beard. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? It's St. John, painted by Guido Rini. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. Then they suborned men, which said, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew and chief of the priests which did so. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven like a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And he became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they were made ready, he fell into a trance. Hey, there's a note here, a message from mother in reply to E. We must leave urgently, but first I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare. Watch out for Volner, he figured out I was avoiding him. A lay suspicion, see you tomorrow evening. Stand ready. For now, let's cease all communication until we meet. Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. What did Mother mean by, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? I must go beyond the nightmare. What does she mean by that? Clearly, she must be trying to do something useful, but, but what? The nightmare. Does that remind me of anything? It probably has to do with an object or something. Granting that this is the case, where might it be found? Yes, it's the painting that was behind Mortimer's study. Well, let's see if Mortimer has anything to hide behind his painting. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious.
there are burnt papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. <laughs> I recognize her love of riddles there. It's time I went back and joined everyone in the small salon. You are expected in the small salon, sir. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? About last night, I'm guessing. I, sadly, no. Even if I'd like to have, I... Alas, there are more pressing matters. I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the Order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. If mothers really killed her sister, I'd better find her by myself. They say they spent a lot of time together. They got along well. Oh, really? Do you think your mother liked Duchess Hillsborough? Of course she did. After all, she's your sister. Well, we'll find them, Emily. Trust me. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Myself for the time being. Come, Louis. They're waiting for us.
You will pay dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice. Don't travel through France on your way back, or it'll cost you dearly. Calm now, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. And what has Monsieur Peru done to once again provoke someone's anger? Uh, we don't really know just yet. I get the feeling it won't be long before it gets out. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a fuss? What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? Oh, no. The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh, dear. Oh. Friends, friends, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous, bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote. Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France. He's lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. If I remember rightly, what Mother told me one night, King Louis was secretly also part of the Order. I wonder what impact his death will have on us. Sad news, sir. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Louis Maurras de Richer. Are you related to Sarah de Richer? Sarah is his mother, Duke. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured. The response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later. Uh, could you spare a moment, please, sir? I'm glad you ask. I want to talk to you, too. Of course. I heard about your mother's disappearance. He looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from sympathy alone. Well, let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her, maybe? We found traces of her that would indicate she's still on the island. Her personal belongings? Yes, but nothing of great interest. Scraps of food, some clothes... Ah, I see. Well, too bad. I shan't keep you, Monsieur de Richet. All right then. Thank you. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I must go now. I'll see you later.
Chronicles of the Amber Princess, as I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Atrus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. Fragment of Amber. Great, honey. So, what did my mother mean by going beyond the nightmare? Might come in handy. The 
Let's take a closer look. Now, now what have we got here? Well, it looks like a model, a model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. The Nightmare Painted by Fusili in 1781. Ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. Now just need to find out what she meant by Go Beyond. Hey. Looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. There must be a mechanism somewhere. Aha! I found it. Oh, what on earth is this? A ring lock now? Great. That's all I needed. says in me. Weakness of the Human Psyche by Gihem Trimor. Hmm. He says, It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in. And goes on, There are hundreds of good ways to live life, but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible. chest with the motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Carmelite water will give me a little reprieve. Hmm, that must be for writing the home pigeon messages. These are feathers. Pi a skeleton by the name of Gustav. If the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by. Strange. 
haven't recognized the alphabet. I wonder where the pictograms are from. It isn't Egyptian or Hebrew. There are two inscriptions on the sides as well as on the top. No way to know what's underneath. Absolutely no idea what it's for, but I find this cue fascinating. It looks like obsidian or onyx. It must weigh a ton. Something strange about this table. The Little Surgeon's Perfect Collection. Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. Three rusty old nails. They're about some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. I didn't seem as the type to be organizing little pagan parties, invoking occult powers, and dancing naked under the full moon. I'm more used to seeing cheap charms like this sold by charlatans in Pré saint gervais Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards? Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. It is a typical draw on a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance, that announces a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. And in the middle, the chariot, which symbolizes triumph and business success. To the right, the emperor evokes a future full of power and stability. My mother's writing. I've picked up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously, she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but but where? The only clue she's left for Mortimer is a stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a decorative sword, like from a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. Oh shit. How am I gonna get out of here now? Let's see what you've been hiding, Lord Murderer. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side.
This note is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. All right, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. You're choking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Oh, for God's sake, just ask them. We must absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? I must have brought him the first one, twenty odd years ago. Do you know if he has managed to get the original? Well, in any case, he's got all the ones we had at the Vatican. He made me replace them with copies. But I don't understand your reaction. I'm sure it is nothing serious. Uh -huh. I can see very well you do not understand. You have done nothing less than sign our death warrants, and still you don't understand. I... Someone is listening. What? Monsieur de Richet, why not join us rather than find yourself eavesdropping? Well, I, I, I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I'm sorry. Of course you didn't. So, my son, what can we do for you? I didn't mean to spy on you, but you caught my attention. You brought spears as well, then? What? Did Mortimer ask you to bring him holy spears, too? Yes, but I thought I was the only one. How many of them have you brought, then? Eighteen, you know. Any relic even remotely to do with them, in fact. Eighteen spears? How many of them exist in all? No one knows. Especially, as there is only one authentic one, of course. That all adds to the mystery, don't you think? Well, uh, please leave us, monsieur. His Eminence and I wish to finish our discussion alone. Thank you. 